Hello, Taurus viewers. Going to look into your situation, um, what's going on in your love life. Let's just see what the story is. So, last reading I did, I was getting that you're, you have a manipulative, psychic, vampire, narcissistic ex that's blocking your real true love from coming in. Like, they're very jealous, very manipulative, very controlling. Uh, could be doing spell work on you for some of you. And I hate to, like, give readings like this because I usually like to be more positive, but it's just this is the energy I got for Taurus for the, the last reading. But it's not anything to worry about because you can remove this yourself. If, if someone is doing black magic on you, it's... I've had so many people do black magic on me. It doesn't even phase me anymore. Like, it's just... You can remove it yourself. It's, it's not something that's going to ruin your life, okay? I don't want to scare anybody. I just want you to know that you have the power to make your life what you want it to be. You have the power... To, to remove this energy and block this person out and manifest the love and the life that you deserve and that you want. Um, but it's still like these warnings come through and I have to give them to you guys so that you know what's going on and you can take the steps that you need to take to fix it. But but yeah, the last reading I did, it was, it was some sort of just a very controlling, very... Um, someone that like doesn't like to lose it's it's almost like it's like maybe they do love you in their own toxic way but it's also like they just don't want to lose you to somebody else like they don't want to it's like a control issue like they feel like they just own you like they just don't feel like anybody else can have you and it's like they're so jealous so controlling and they've been doing something. It could just be their energy. It might not even be black magic. It could just be like the intentions they're putting out there. Like the energy. Maybe they're like constantly blowing your phone up for some of you. But let's see what the story is. Let's see what's going on now. What's going on with this situation? With Because um, I want to see. Because there is a new person in your energy field. And I want to look into them. Because I was getting that before. Is that you do have your true love that's in your energy field. But this energy has just sort of been blocking them out a little bit because it's like, like they're there, but it's like something, there's like some stagnancy, you know, I don't know if you've met this person or not yet, but I'm going to look into that. I want to first get an update on what's going on with the, um, the psychic vampire ex for those of you that are following me here. So it looks like really good energy here. Actually, it looks like you're moving forward. Some of you, I feel like this is a specific, oh my God, a specific message for a couple of you. For like baby witches that are just getting into witchcraft, maybe you're just starting to do these like cut and clear or clearing uncrossing spells. Um, you know, don't doubt your power. Like you, you spell work is really powerful when you do it yourself. You don't have to go to someone else to do it. I mean, there are powerful witches out there that can really help you, but it's like I feel like spell work is the most powerful when you do it yourself. Because you're putting all your own energy and your own intention into it. You know what I mean? Like, another witch is not going to want your toxic ex gone as much as you want your toxic ex gone. And all that, all that, oh my god, why can't I talk? Mercury Retrograde is screwing me up, I swear. If you're new to my channel, I'm not usually this flustered. I'm usually, it's usually more clear. So stick with me here. <laughs> um, god, I hate Mercury Retrograde, I swear. But, um... For, for those, this is for a couple of you, for baby witches that are like getting, that are new to this. It's like you, you can do this spell work yourself. You really can. I mean, you need to do your research and you need to, you need to do uncrossing work. You need to do like protect yourself, like use salt around your spells, um, do grounding techniques, like make sure you're in a good environment, like a clear space when you do your spell work, make sure your mind is clear, really meditate and practice like visualization and affirmations. And when you do spell work, you also want to word it as if you're manifesting whatever you want in the present moment. So like, say you do a candle spell, you want to manifest it as if it's wording in the present moment. And you also just probably want one clear intention, like, you know, love, um, love is drawn to me or love is mine now or something like, you know what I mean? Something very like clear and specific and direct. Um, and you want to, you know, keep up with the visualizations and the energy and the passion, you know, spell work is all, it's all just raw emotion and energy that really fuels the spells and the intentions and the visualizations that fuel the spells. So I think this, this is just a quick message for a couple of you. I think some of you are starting to get into witchcraft and you're like, doubting yourself a little bit and it's like you got to have faith in yourself you have to have faith in your own energy to manifest like 
trust yourself more. I mean, of course, there's techniques like grounding and protection and things that you need to do, but but don't don't get too caught up on um so with self doubt, you know. So I feel like some of you are like doing spells to get rid of this energy, but you're like not putting a lot of emotion into the spells and you're like doubting yourself and you're like, hey, I don't know if this is actually going to work. This person, like you, you're feeling as this, as if this person has a hold on you. Like I see someone, this is probably for someone specific here. So I'll get to the main reading in just a minute. I just wanted to give this message first for, it's like one or two specific people. It's like, I see you like lighting a candle or you're like doing like a, like some kind of ritual or spell, but you're like, is this really going to get rid of him? Or is this really going to get rid of her? Like, is this going to work? Like, I don't know about this. I think they're still going to blow. Like you're, you're putting that energy into the spell of like, it's not going to go away. And it's not saying it's going to backfire on you. It's just saying like the spell work's not going to be effective if you're like doubting it and you're not, um, like you need to, you need to channel that passion and that energy. You need to feel like what you're manifesting is happening in the present moment. Like it's already happened when you light the candle. You need to feel all that energy of having it now, of being free of this person now. You don't want to light the spell and be questioning it and be saying like, I mean, you don't want to light the candle and be questioning it and being like, uh, is this person really going to be gone? I don't know about this. Let's see what happens. Like you don't, it's not going to, I'm not saying it's going to backfire. I'm just saying it's not helping. It's, it's not, you, you gotta, you gotta trust yourself more, but I'll give you just comment below and I'll give you advice. Cause I don't want to make the whole reading about that. But if that's, if that's your story that I just, if that's your situation that I just channeled, just comment below. I'll tell you what's going on. But most of, for um, the majority of you, it seems like. Well, for all of you, I would say it seems like you are moving on from this. Like you are, you have like a new start here. You have the the sun. You have, could be a message here that they sent you or you sent them. And this message is bringing you closure. Like some of you might've just sent a message like, hey, or you might be thinking about sending a message that's connected to this moving on energy where you're like, I'm done. <laughs> like I'm done. You did like getting your closure. Like you're finding this is this to me is about you getting your closure. And swords would be like pages can be about messages and swords is like a mental energy. And sometimes it's more of like a harsh, like cutthroat kind of energy. So I see this more as of like a message as um, you know, like a closure message, like a final finality kind of message or or spell work too. But it's like you're moving forward, connected, being connected to this energy here. Yeah, temperance. You're having this balance too. I think it's saying to go easy on yourself and have this balance. Have this balance. Maybe when you send a message too, it's like you need to have some sort of balance. But get that closure that you need. Protect yourself from this person too. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're definitely moving forward. I see, I see that this is getting better. This situation is... Yeah, you're the high priestess too. Could be someone with the initial B or J also. But you're the high priestess, so it's like you're in, this could be male or female, high priest or high priestess, either way. But it's it's like you're in your power. It's like you're, you're manifesting the life that you want. You're standing your ground. You're getting through this energy. You're starting to trust your intuition more. So, so this is a good development from what I got for you guys last time. Because I was getting that person was really controlling your life. And now I'm getting that, that you're moving, whatever you're doing now, it's like you're, like if you watch my last video, it's like you took it seriously and you you're taking you've taken the steps to to get your closure, to send a message and block this person to um you know, to shield your energy, to to start using your intuition and meditating and and protecting yourself. So that energy is working. You're really coming into your power, you know. Just don't just don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself if you're new to, to spell work. Don't doubt yourself. Two of Wands. Yeah, you're leaving something behind that died. Something that's over. Eight of Swords. See, Eight of Swords is like, it's not as bad now. But some of you are so used to this person controlling you that you don't actually realize that you're freeing yourself of them now. Because it's like, they're still... Like, they don't have very much power. Whatever you've been doing recently, like, you've, you've made, like, some sort of energy shift. I feel. And so this person doesn't have nearly as much power over you now. Like they're losing their power over you more and more every day. 
But some of you are so used to being blocked by this person and so used to being controlled and manipulated by this person that you don't even realize that you're free of them or that you're very close to being free of them. Because Eight of Swords traditionally is someone who's got like swords all around them and then they have a clear opening right ahead of them and they have their castle past that opening is is their castle their dreams their true love everything they want but it's like they're so focused on the swords around them that they can't see that there's a clear opening so it's like victimizing yourself like keeping yourself stuck when you actually have a clear way out so it's saying you know just start stop giving attention to these swords and start looking at that path that you have ahead of you and walk through it because you also don't want to give this person power, whoever this is that's trying to, I'm not saying you don't want to take it seriously, because like for some of you, I do get danger. I hate to say that, but for some of you, I do get like a stalking energy. I do get them like asking friends and family about you or like, like spying on your social media. Like some of them, I do get kind of a creepy energy that you really do need to watch yourself. You do need to protect yourself. Maybe like carry pepper spray or carry um a knife or something like I hate to I hate to say that in readings because it's so dark but it's like you know you guys need that warning and that's not for all of you it's just for some of you um but yeah I mean it's always good to carry that stuff on you too anyway just to be safe like you never know like walking alone at night or whatever from your car it's like you don't you don't know who's out there it's always good to just be safe anyway so so try to get some, for, for those of you that resonates with, try to get some pepper spray or something, ASAP. But, but yeah, also don't give this power. I mean, it's like you want to take it seriously. Like you want to be aware of this person and protect yourself. But like you don't want to fall into like this victim mentality of like this person is always going to control me. Like this person is always going to, going to stop me. This person is, is gonna ruin my life this person I'm never gonna be able to have true love because this person is always gonna be doing stuff I'm like you don't want to get stuck sucked into that energy there's like a balance I think that's what the temperance card is saying too there's a balance here between taking this seriously and protecting yourself both physically and also on a psychic mental level and then at the same time, like not giving them more power than they have, like you, you want to take it seriously, but you don't want to get in the mindset of feeling like this is just going to be your entire life. Like you're just trapped by this person. Now you can never have love. Like you don't want to get in that mindset. You want to see this as like, this is something that you're fighting. This is something that you're coming through every day. Like you're coming, you're, you're, there's really good energy here. The sun is like the happiest card in the deck. The high priestess is someone in feminine energy, could be male or female in feminine energy standing in their power um you know witchcraft like spell work like making their world what they sorry i gotta adjust the light here making their life what they want it to be like taking control look at her look how powerful she is it's like she's standing her ground she's she's researching she's meditating she's taking control of her life she's making her life what she wants it to be um he or she it could be male too like i said and it's like this person is just this is you. This is you right here. It's like you're you're taking your power back from this person. You're calling your power back from this person. Might be, might need to do soul retrieval for some of you too. It might be helpful. But but it's like yeah, you're standing your ground finally, and you're moving forward. So you are coming through this energy. This person, it's it's like an illusion. It's like this person doesn't have as much of a hold on you as as you think they do. It's like they're like a trickster spirit. So sometimes like maybe in the the astral realm. They sort of do, um, like they just trick you. Like they make you think that you're kind of stuck when you're not. It's like, it's like the little spider. It's like a little tiny spider you can just crush. Like you want to acknowledge it. It's there. It's a spider, but it could bite you. You know what I mean? Like you want to acknowledge it, but it's like you can just crush it with your hand. You know what I mean? It's just, it's so small, but it, it's, it's the mind. It's the mind that's, it's your mind that's tricking you and making it seem so scary. And it's kind of like this person is like good at, it's almost like a Loki type of energy, um, like trickster spirit kind of energy, like where they, they just, they make themselves seem so much more powerful than they really are. Like they, they want you to feel trapped. They want you, they want you to stay asleep. They don't want you to wake up and see that there's an opening right, in, right ahead of you that you can just simply walk out of, but you are waking up and you are seeing that there's an opening because I see all these cards you know, the sun, the fool, the fool is about a new start. The sun is, is the happiest card in the deck. It's, it's claiming your happiness. It's moving forward. Like you are moving past this energy. This person just does not want you to know that you're moving past this energy. You feel me? 
Um, so balance, balance, take it seriously, but don't give it more power than you need to give it. You know, I hope that makes sense. So like with the chariot here, you really are moving forward. You really are getting out of this energy. Yeah. It's almost like familiar. Maybe that's why you held on for so long. And for some of you, it's also like this person feels like, well, I put so much into this, so I can't, I'm not letting you go now because I put so much into it. But it's like, no, you don't have a choice. Yeah, these battles are over. Like you're you're more free than you realize. Like this situation is like dead. You get to you get to move on now. Might have to go through the heartbreak because maybe you did love this person, but you need to. I mean, that's this cycle is over with this person. The cycle is over, and you know that. Like you, I mean, you intuitively know that you don't want this person, but maybe it still hurts a little bit. But there's a new cycle coming in. They're gonna have someone that treats you a lot better. So it's always gonna be the same crap with this person. Always going to be the same crap, same miscommunication. Get out of that nostalgic energy. Get out of that nostalgic energy, the pain. This person's always going to do the same shit, yeah. Two of Cups. You have new love coming in. You have new love coming in. You're just going to have to be strong and get through this energy and clear this person's energy out so you can have that. But again, like I said, it's it's just so imperative that you that you take it seriously and you protect yourself, but at the same time, just don't give it just don't give it more energy than it deserves. Just see it as it's like something you need to be aware of, but realize that you're moving through this. You are moving through this. This is what the cards are saying is that you are not in the same place you were a couple weeks ago. You've, you've come through, you've made some progress. Um, and so now it's like mostly just like illusion that this person has on you. I feel like the warning is more physical, like more like, like physically for some of you, you need to protect yourself. Um, crap. How do I explain that energy? And I would keep like repeating it, but it's like, I feel like there's people watching right now that are like, what do you mean? Like, this is like, what you talking about? Take it seriously. Don't take it seriously. Make up your mind. And it's like, oh my God, how do I explain that balance? It's like, just, just know it's an issue, but it's, it's not as big of an, <sighs> see, it's different. Cause it's like, they're like a trickster spirit, but like some of them could be physically dangerous, which is why it's like, I don't want to say not take it seriously, but see it as an issue, but see it as an issue that you're you're moving away from now that you're coming out of that you're protected from, you know, like take your power back from this person and protect yourself and just be strong. And you also need to like cut communication because I feel like for a couple of you, maybe you, you still love this person. And so it's like maybe you would reach out from time to time and it's like you need to really stay in your power. You need to stay in your power. Um I feel the physical, like for some of you though, I, I have like a physical warning, like them, oh my God, I hate saying that. I hate saying that. Some of you like, I have like a physical warning of like them like getting frustrated and like trying to show up at your house or something. You just need to protect yourself. Like you can do protection spells and then you can also, um, God, I hate getting readings like this because it's like, I don't want to tell you guys that. Usually my readings are like happy and lovey and I'm like, oh, this isn't good energy. <laughs> but it is good energy. It is good energy because you're moving past it. You're moving past it. You're, you know, you got the sun. You have like, like you're, you're getting through this. It's just a messy process getting through it, getting this person away. But I mean, I feel like for some of you, you do need to cut contact. But I also get the warning that like for some of you, if you cut contact, like they might lose it and get frustrated that they're being ignored and they might try to try something physically. So it's like, but you have to cut contact at the same time, don't you? It's like you can't, uh, full disclaimer, I'm not responsible for what you do or do not do as a result of this reading. But I'm just saying physically protect yourself. Whoever that's for, you need to physically protect yourself. Um, but it's like, for those of you that like have stayed in contact with this person, it's like, it's made it more complicated because it's like they're, they feel like if they just push and push and push, eventually you'll respond to their texts or their calls or whatever it is. You know what I mean? And so it's like this endless cycle and you need to get off that, that cycle that you, this karmic cycle, you keep repeating with this person, this energy exchange that you keep repeating with this person and for some of you, it's hard because there's probably a couple of you that actually still love this person and it's still hurting you. And so it's like they guilt trip you or they, they blow your phone up enough and you're like, oh, maybe I'll give it another chance. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll reach out and be, I'll just won't hurt to just see how they're doing. Like, no, 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 no. 
no. <laughs> if you do cut and clear work, you got to really cut them out, you know, because if you talk to them, that energy is just going to come right back in. But also, also protect yourself, protect yourself, because I feel like I'm just getting that warning that like someone's that you need to cut them out. But that for some of you, when you do, they're they're they have such bad control issues that they're going to lose their shit when you really stop responding for good. So, but it's like, you can't stay in, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay in the cycle forever? Like eventually you have to find a way out of this. Um, a disclaimer though, it's, it's your life. It's up to you. I don't want to be responsible for what you do or do not do as a result of this reading. I'm just saying for that, for whoever that's for, you really need to protect yourself. Who you really need to protect yourself. Um, I see you being safe. Like you have like your angels and your gods and goddesses and all these beings around you. Like you're safe. It's just like it wouldn't hurt to have something on to carry on you, you know, and to keep your doors locked for a little bit. You know what I mean? Just it's always good to do that no matter what. Um, yeah. But when you light the candle, like maybe redo for some of you, you need to redo the spell that you did. But this time, like one clear intention that you carve into the candle and feel it, feel that feeling of them moving on and you being free. Like maybe some of you should do a banishing spell on, on them, like, like turn them off so they don't even want you anymore. Like a banishing spell would be good for some of you too. That might help keep you safe. Um, but like protect yourself, like really... Like when you do the spell, it's like you want to put that energy in of just, of just like being protected and grounded and, and, um, and like feeling free of them, like, like watching them, like want, watching them, like, like pushing their energy away, like watching them want, not want you anymore. Like that, just channel that energy of being free of them. What else do you want to say? You have new love coming in here. You do have someone in your energy field that you've been praying for. You've been praying for this kind of love. And you have this true love that's that's coming in. It's just like, got to get out of this cycle first. It's like a karmic lesson for you too that you've been repeating with this ex. Um, and it's just that energy just needs to be cleared so that this love can come in. Because it's almost like this ex might have tied himself to your his or herself to your energy so deeply that it's like some people might actually associate you with the ex. Like I've had that happen. Like I had that with a guy I was pursuing that had a, a dramatic like baby mama. This was like a while ago, but, but like people, sometimes psychics would like look at his picture and they'd be like, Oh, he's like toxic. He's like, he's controlling. He's this and that. And they would be describing the baby mama because they were so connected and they were always around each other that like her energy was like rubbing off on him. And she was so controlling that it's almost like she put her energy around him. So it's like people couldn't even really get to him. So it's almost like I feel like that for some of you where it's almost like people might see you and like see parts of your ex in you, if that makes sense. Like they don't like the, your ex is like has such uh, but you're moving past that. You've done, you've progressed. You've progressed from where you were, were a couple weeks ago. Like you, you have all these good cards. So it's like, they're not seeing you. They're starting to not see you like that. Like your ex's energy is like being cleared away from you. Like it's working. Like your, you know, your spell is like, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep most of your spells have worked. Just, there's just a couple of you that I feel didn't have, didn't put quite en enough energy and faith into it and you need to redo it. Um, but it's like this person in your energy field or a person that's like been watching you or spying on you. Maybe they see you at the store or some, somewhere like that. Like they're they're looking at your energy differently now that you're removing your ex's energy and your your energy is starting to light starting to lighten up. And so this person is really like they're not seeing you as cold and guarded and distrusting anymore. What are they seeing you as? Yeah, open and honest. They're seeing you as open and honest and they're they're wanting communication with you. This is a potential life partner that's coming in. I feel like for some of you, the ex might have been a false twin. 
like you thought they were your twin flame and it turns out they were actually a false twin and you're about to meet the real twin flame or sometimes also even if it is a real twin flame like sometimes you meet the soulmate life partner after the twin flame like because sometimes people just don't want to be with their twin flames but this new person it could be someone that you know could be a secret admirer or it could be someone coming into your energy field like someone in your energy field that you haven't yet physically met I get for most of you it's someone that's like watching you though but like in a good way like a positive like kind of shy sweet way like their energy is more um like submissive and kind of gentle as opposed to your ex's energy but this this new person is more gentle and they're a potential life partner the divine is protecting you your angels your guides your gods and goddesses the, all these high vibrational spirits are protecting you you know the synchronicity is there with this connection too they're bringing this love together they're protecting you you know, you are protected. Just feel that energy. Keep doing your work. Keep getting out of the stagnant energy. Yeah, the ex. Yeah, from the ex. Don't be seduced by the ex. Block the ex too if you haven't already. Or even like bore them. Like I do that because I have stalkers. And I'll just straight up, like, not post, um, like, I'll just keep all my Facebook stuff to friends only so that it, like, bores them. It's like, they'll go to my page and there's nothing to look at. <laughs> there's, there's a couple pictures and there's, like, shit I posted a year ago and that's it. <laughs> like, you don't have anything else to look at, you know? Just bore them away. Yeah, you're focusing on finances and career more, too. That's good. That's good. Show me the new person. Mutual feelings, emotional depth. Ooh, new love, faded encounter. This is destiny, this new person. Could be an unexpected meaning. It's really good energy here. I sense like a very gentle, empathetic, shy, sweet, like boy or girl next door type. You got to choose a path. You got to get out of this with the wheel. You got to get out of this karmic cycle. You got to get out of this karmic cycle. Someone's planning their approach because they're noticing you more now because your energy is lighting up lightening up like oh my god i can speak i can speak some of you still need to cut the cords though to the x yeah anchor miscommunication hmm. some of them are stalking you still okay just two more cards on the new person two more cards on the new person willpower strength and confidence yeah you really need to step into your power reclaim your power more you need to i'm not like i said there's like the temperance card here so it's not, not saying not to take it seriously but it's like you really need to realize that you're stronger than the ex you're more powerful than the ex you are a more powerful witch than the ex is like you need to you need to reclaim your power your strength your confidence um Especially when you're doing spell work, like you want to be in that power of like, I'm f like, I'm free of this person. This is my life, like really standing your ground. Don't be submissive to the ex. Truth and clarity is coming out. Home, belonging, safe space. Yeah. Yeah, you got really good energy here. You got you got really good energy here with this new love coming in. So I hope that resonates. Thank you guys for watching. Um, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. Um, if you want a reading, my email address is below. And share, subscribe, uh, like this video. Thank you.